it steady because I feel it. Bill Sampson and his team do everything they can to help patients find solid footing in everyday life. Oh, I'm very unsteady. <laughs> At Sampson's Prosthetic and Orthotic Laboratory in Schenectady, state-of-the-art devices are fabricated and fitted to match a patient's lifestyle. South Glens Falls resident Scott Loyola is a patient of Sampson's. The 29-year-old lets little hold him back and has put Sampson in charge of keeping up with his active lifestyle. This individual is a very active young man. Um, he lost his limb due to cancer and uh, so he has had to deal with uh, the loss of a limb for several years and we went ahead and evaluated Scott for a new socket. He is wearing now the Hi-Fi socket design which is similar to this design here that you see and he holds this prosthesis on with suspension through suction suspension. So he's able to put this prosthesis on. He uses what we call a wet fit technique he dons the prosthesis, puts it on, and he closes these, this hole in the bottom with a valve. Uh, this young man is, is extremely active. Um, he can get around with or without the prosthesis. At the lab, sockets are created from a patient's limb or residual limb, casted to make a plaster impression. Okay, this is a socket for an above knee amputee. And uh, so what we got to see was a thermoform, which was under vacuum and they were able to drape form this material which is uh, hits about almost 400 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven and they were able to flip that mold with this hot plastic over a positive model of the patient's residual limb. So it basically draws this material in up against the positive model of the patient's residual limb and from there once they cool it down it holds its shape and that's what we're seeing right here. Reporting for the Post Star and the Post Star.com, Lindsay Hollenbaugh.